Today, students, we are going to learn part three of chapter three for standard six: diversity in living things and their classification. So, come along then. Let's read, understand, and enjoy it. This video was made just for you. Do remember to like, share, and subscribe. Need for classification of plants. Now. classification means grouping grouping items together so plants were also grouped now why did they do that now as a scientist started studying about the plants and various functions the various sizes various shapes of the plants they collected a lot of information lakhs of information was collected about different types of plants now while studying they found that the plants were of different types that is they found diversity in the plants so they had to classify them they found that if we group them together it will become very convenient for us to find more information about them so they started classifying them that is grouping them according to that is on the basis of their similarities and the differences there are many plants that are similar similar in maybe shape similar in the leaves similar in the kind of stem the height of the stem so they started grouping that together and they also found a lot of differences so they started grouping those also separately so in the same way they could you know you can classify them in the form of similarities and differences in their structure in their organs and their characteristics that is what functions they perform what are the features so on this basis plants are classified that is the plants are grouped together now it was the scientist carlos linnaeus who made the first classification possible okay so he was the first one to classify plants and then there were many other scientists who did that in the subsequent years so they classified about the plants in various ways various methods they used to classify the plants now here is an activity for you to do observe and discuss now take a round through a garden or in the surroundings and list the plants that you see now you can even draw pictures of some of the plants and the flowers and various things that you see then you can draw a table and as shown below make the items of all these things that is the name of the plant where does the plant grow or where did you see the plant or nature of the plant that is the nature of the stem that is circumference the color the bark whether it was hard bark soft bark then the height how high it was very high very short the branches whether it branching it out what about the leaves the color and the shape of the leaves what about the flowers so how were the flowers what color were the flowers and the nature of the fruit did you see any fruits in them how were the fruits and what were the uses of this things so all this thing you can make a list and then you can make it into a table form now you can also go to check your answers at our website at www.jkacademypro.com now the classification of plants how do how were they able to classify the plants now we can easily notice from the picture over here the difference in the shape and the height of the plants in our surroundings isn't it now if you look at the picture also we find that there are very small plants there are plants that grow at a particular height and then we find plants like banyan and coconut that grow very very tall even in that we find that there is a difference in how the branches grow the leaves grow how they are able to spread out so all these were the different ways in which plants were classified so it becomes very easy to classify the plants on the basis of just the observations also so now let's understand about this classification of plants in detail now look at these pictures and can you tell what are the similarities between a mango a banyan and a tamarind tree so these three pictures are given to you look at them carefully and what are the similarities that you see now if you look carefully you will find that all the three trees grow very tall and they spread out isn't it they are spreading the branches are spreading out and they form like a canopy canopy is they form like an umbrella on top a dome shape they spread out and they give a lot of shade down so 
that is how these three plants and many plants like this many trees like this grow they grow tall their branches spread out and the top of the plant that is leaves form a crown shape that is called the canopy so let's learn about trees now some plants grow tall their stem or trunk is hard and strong just like the ones we saw in the picture earlier the mango tree the banyan tree the tamarind tree they go very tall the the trunk is very very strong very very hard so that is how these this uh, trees grow then they have branches at some height above the ground so as the tree grows the branches also grow above the ground and then the branches spread out they bear flowers and fruits for many many years so not they don't get it doesn't get over just in a year or two but these trees grow tall they grow very strong they grow very sturdy and they bear fruits and flowers and leaves and branches and they live for many years such plants are called trees and trees are tall big and they are perennial now what does a perennial mean perennial means all the trees that live for many many years are called perennial trees or perennial plants so they live for many years now what are the similarities between the hibiscus the oleander and lantana plants so if you look at the three pictures very carefully what are the similarities that you find you must have noticed that all of them grow at a particular height so such plants are called shrubs so let's learn about it now some plants grow close to the ground they give out branches very close to the ground so they don't grow as tall as the mango or the tamarind or the banyan or the coconut tree but this tree these plants grow at a particular height and they are shorter and smaller than the trees so we learned that trees grow very tall their branches grow right above the ground and they spread out not like that these branches will not grow very right above the ground but they will be at our height our height level so they are shorter and smaller than the trees but they have a thick and hard stem now the oleander the hibiscus the lantana the coranti and rose are shrubs and they grow up to 2 or 3 meters tall so all the trees that grow up to 2 or 3 meters tall are called shrubs now what are the similarities between the fenugreek okay we eat this isn't it we make a vegetable out of it the fenugreek plant and the periwinkle plant now these plants grow very very short okay so they are called herbs the herbs grow 1 to 1.5 meters tall only and the stems of these herbs are green and quite flexible that is they are very soft they can bend easily as compared to those of trees and bushes that is shrubs so herbs may live for a few months or up to 2 years not more than 2 years so all our herbs like our uh, pudina plant the coriander plant the tulsi plant so all these plants they grow to a very small height that is 1 to 1.5 meters tall only now we have seen that according to the size and the height of the stems plants can be classified and we can classify these plants into three types one are the trees trees grow very tall and they spread out the trunk of the tree is very strong and hardy and the branches spread out right very high above the ground then we have the shrubs that grow at a, a very short height so these branches the the trunk again is very uh, very hard but the branches grow little above the ground and we have the third type that is the herbs which have very very soft and flexible stem so those are the plants that we consume most of the plants these small plants that we consume that is our pudina our coriander our palak all these are some of the plants that we consume also so they are called herbs this is end of part 3 for a complete lesson do what all the parts Solve this exercise given to you in your textbook. To check your answers for these textual exercises and for more free worksheets, please visit our website at 
www.jkacademypro.com. Thank you.